Cher doesn't make a film very often. How did you tempt her to come and do this um, for you? You know, just through um, a lot of meetings and song and dance for me and um, dog and pony show after dog and pony show and just to convince her that I could, you know, deliver on my promise and that I could actually execute the vision. Was Christina always kind of your choice as well? Did you write it with her in mind to come in and do I always had Christina in mind while writing the movie, yeah. I mean, she was my first choice. Yeah, I mean, I, I put my heart and soul into it. There were Etta James covers that I loved doing, and then uh, going ahead forward with uh, creating and writing new music for the film was a, was a great thing for me, too. I think you have the best line in this film, I think. Uh, the it? bitch with mutant lungs. Oh, yes, was, I do. Yeah, was it fun delivering that? Was there yeah. A lot of takes to, to, uh, it was one to, true words have never been spoken. Yeah. She is, I don't know if I'd say a bitch, but she definitely has mutant lungs. And thank God for her mutant lungs, because we all get this one, these wonderful sounds. Mm -hmm. What was it like meeting kind of Cher for the first time? Because she's oh, just like Cher a legend. for the first time was amazing. The first time I met Cher, we uh, we were going to the script read, and we're all sitting around the table. Kristen Bell sitting across from me, Stanley Tucci sitting across from me, and then Cher walks in, and she looks like a rock star. I mean, like it's broad daylight in the middle of the afternoon, she looks like a rock star. Like leather jacket, cool jeans. I mean, it was just. It was too much. It was so much. And she came in and sat down next to me, and we were just like, like you know, you don't want to turn around and look too too quickly, but you're just like, oh my god, she's sitting right here, and and it was just really cool because she was having so much fun, and the way she she just brings so much life to her character. So um, I think everyone's gonna really love it, and all of the share fans, diehard share fans, are gonna they're gonna get reacquainted with her. She's been off the screen for a while, so. I know everyone's going to be glad to have her again. Well, I was just trying to tell her that being on a set is different than being on a, you know, singing in a video, and to kind of try to make as many friends as you can and really interact with the with the with the, with the crew, and also just to take your time before you say your lines and just kind of plant yourself and think of what you're saying and just be honest. That was about it. A couple of films we've seen you in this year, you've been kind of like uh, a bit kind of nerdy and geeky, and this is very different. So is it fun to kind of cut loose and yeah, and absolutely. Be a bit of a yeah, I mean, I think I I grew up a little more nerdy and geeky, so I'm comfortable in that world. And um, this movie made me feel sexier than anything I think I've ever done, and that's a little bit nerve wracking for me, I think, because I'm much more comfortable being prim and proper. But um, this movie kind of pushed my boundaries, and and I loved it. What do you hope audiences take away from this film? Well, you know, that it's an inspirational, fun-filled fantasy. It's a throwback to musicals from Hollywood's golden age. And, you know, it's a Broadway spectacle come to life. It's just a really fun night at the movies. It's just such a fun film. And it's, it's, um, it's you know, it's a great storyline. There's a nice little twist in there. And, and um, singing and dancing is, is made to make people feel good. And so I think that's what everyone's going to, I think that's how everyone's going to feel when they watch this.